ma'am. I am Desa Mayor Ako together with my group mates, um, Mary Grace Manuel and Haron Clark D. Zalso. So, we are given a task to report about fish parasitology. And the article that we are going to present through PowerPoint presentation is entitled Metazoan Parasites of Freshwater Ornamental Fishes. So, I am the Semayar Akot and I will do the reporting for introduction. So, again, the title of our um, PowerPoint presentation is Metazoan Parasites of Freshwater Ornamental Fishes. So, Parasitic diseases in farmed fish may be caused by agents from different zoological groups. So the metazoans are important parasites of ornamental fishes. So this includes monogenian, cestodes, digenian, trematodes, and nematodes, and also the acanthocephalans. Now, these helminths may cause irritation, injury, or atrophy of tissues and occlusions of the alimentary canal and may deprive fish of normal feeding. The intensity of infection depends on the parasite morphology, size, number, and mode of attachment. Now, these parasitic infections or infestations are related to poor health management, contributes to the deterioration of the water quality. Monogenians are important parasites found mostly in gill, fins, mucus of the body surface. Diseases caused by monogenians are among the most important for fish farming, and massive mortalities have been observed in farmed fish due to high rates of infestation by these parasites. Cestodes and nematodes can also cause mortality in farmed fishes due to tissue injury and damage to intestinal functions. Now, we have here the goldfish or the Carasius auratus. 18.4% of metazoan parasites were reported and the present parasites in this goldfish were the Dactylogirus extensus and the D. ancoratus. We also have here in Gapi or in Pocilia reticulata. So, 91% of prevalence were reported and the present parasite is the Gyrodactylus turnbuli. In Pakistan, 63% prevalence of the extensus and 46% prevalence of Gyrodactylus sp were registered in C. auratus or in goldfish. Now, we also have the angelfish or the Pterophyllum scalari. The presence of the nematodes capillaria, pterophily, and capillaria ancestry was observed. In Sao Paulo, identified the parasite Camalianus maculatus in sp in southern platyfish or in Schiphophorus maculatus. The previous studies have also shown Metacercariae of the Rigenian Ascocotyl sp and cystacans of the Acanthocephalan Quadrigirus nicoli parasitizing ornamental fish. More recently, observed monogenian Diaphoroclidus cabatai in the gills of Gymnocorimbus ternetzi or in Black Widow tetra. D. extensus and D. minotus parasitizing koi carp. The assessment of parasitic fauna and parasitological indexes in ornamental fish is important in order to develop appropriate prophylactic techniques, ensuring the production of fish with adequate health conditions and suitability to market requirements. Now, the objective of this study is that it aimed to evaluate the parasitic fauna from ornamental freshwater fishes formed in southern Brazil, considering the possible influence of the handling routine of each facility. So, good day. I'm Mary Grace Manuel, and I will discuss the materials and methods used in this study. So, there's a total of 423 
uh, ornamental fish specimens that were collected between July 2014 to January 2015. So they are collected from the three facilities in the state of Santa Catarina, uh, Southern Brazil, from Fish Farm Camboriú, Fish Farm Araquaria, and Fish Farm uh, Biguaco. So the following species were collected in Fish Farm Camboriú. So there are a total of uh, 29 tele uh, telescope goldfish. A total of 30 comet goldfish and 30 angelfish were collected in Fish Farm Camboriú. So in Fish Farm uh, Araquaria, there are a total of 30 angelfish were collected, 15 black molly, 30 blood red sword tail, a total of 30 caramel platyfish, and a 30 wagtail platyfish. So in Fish Farm Biguaco, there is a total of 19 Siamis fighting fish were collected, 29 comet goldfish, 30, uh, 30 zebra fish, a total of 29 free synops, 30 gold uh, fin barb, and a total of 29 white cloud mountain minnow. And there's also a 29 species of uh, X hilary and a total of 29 wagtail patty fish. So here in table 1, it shows the management characteristics of the ornamental fish in Fish Farm Brazil for uh, crowd protein. So the characteristics are qualify, uh, classified into system and site of culture, the employee management, the feeding, the stocking density, the water source, the water quality monitoring, as well as its type of marketing. So the water quality uh, parameters were assessed in every fish sampling. So after that, the measurement of the pH, the dissolved oxygen, and the temperature was performed with a multi-parameter H19146 and the total ammonia was also measured with a colometric kit. So after that, the fish were transported in plastic bags to the laboratory for some parasitil, uh, parasitological analysis. And uh, they were anesthetized with, uh, olive, with a club oil with 75 milligram a liter and uh, euthanized by a cerebral concussion. So this procedure or, or this uh, procedure were previously approved by the Ethics Committee for Animals Use of Federal uh, University of Santa Catarina. So after the euthan uh, euthanasia, the samples were the sample of the mocos, the gills, and the internal parts were uh, examined by uh, according to the Yeras 2006. So the parasitological indexes were calculated according to Bosch 1997 and the relative uh, dominance was also calculated as suggested by the RAD 19, uh, 1995. So briefly, the monogenians were uh, mounted in Hoyer's, uh, Hoyer's medium to observe the sclerotized reproductive uh, structure and also to classify it according to Kretzky 1986. So the cestuds, they were stained with the Gomori trichrome and clarified with the Betchwood uh, suit and posteriorly they are mounted uh, between a slide and a cover slip for the, po uh, for the purpose of identification for the and while the nematodes they were uh, processed with a regressive staining method and clarified with acetic acid for uh, later analysis so after the long uh, analysis the parasitological indexes were submitted to man's uh, witness u test using the stastica 13.0 
for comparison among the facilities for each species. So that's all for the materials and methods. I am Haron Clark D. Zalsos, so I will discuss the result. So most of the examined fishes were not parasitized. The metazoans identified in these studies were the monogenians, the cestods, and the, nema the nematods. Monogenian parasites were found in the body and the gill the fish species examined, except for the Cipopurus heleri and the Puncho saxi and the Tinictes albunubs from the fish farms Araquari and the Bigwaku. So the highest prevalence rate found in the examined fish was the Monogenian gusivia, the Sper Spira Lociria. In the gills of the P. Scalari, which is the angelfish from the fish farm of Araquari, and this same monogenian species parasitize in the gills of the B. Beta splendens or the beta fish from the fish farm of the Bingwaku. The Gyrodactylus sp, Dactylogyrus intermedius, the B. Bauri, and uh, D. Formosus and D. Ancoratus was related in the gills and the body surface mucus of the goldfish or the C. auratus from the fish farm Camboriú. So the identified species of monogenia were observed parasitizing at low prevalences. So in this table two is the parasitological indices of the ornamental fish parasitized by the monogenia. So this P is indicate for the prevalence and also the MI plus or minus the standard deviation which is the mean intensity and also the mean abundance. And the uh, RD is the relative dominance and the R is for the richness of the parasites and the uh, SI is the infestation or the infection site and the G is which is the gills, the M is the body surface mucus and the SD is the standard deviation. So the cesta, the Botryocephalus achilognati was also found in the intestine of, of the only in the three species of the fish from the two fish farm with the X maculatus or the platy fish wagtail from the fish farm araquari being the most parasitized fish which is the 6.6 .6 mean intensity and the 3.5 uh, plus minus to the 3.5 and also the beta splendens from the fish farm uh, bigwaku which is the which is 5.3% the, the main intensity is 3.0 plus minus to 4.0 and the ex maculatus the caramel platyfish from the fish farm araquari 3.3% and the main intensity is 1.5 plus minus to 2.1 so in the table 3, the parasitological indices of the ornamental fish parasitized by the cestoda and the nematoda. The prevalence and also the main intensity, the MI plus minus the SD and the main abundance, the MA plus minus SD. And also the main relative dominance, the RD. The SI is for the infestation or the infection site. And I is the intestine. And the ST is the standard deviation. So in the intestine of the P. scalari from the fish farm was found the nematode at the prevalence of 100% and the main intensity of 9.0 plus minus to 6.3. And... On the other hand, the low prevalences is 3.3%, where the reported in the ex maculatus, the platy wagtail, 
from the fish farm and the uh, P. Scalare from the Cambur Camburiu in the table 3. The greatest richness of the parasites was found in the P. Scalare from the farm of Aquari. Araquari. So in the discussion, according to Blas, the size of the sample is one of the critical factors in the characterizing the epidemiological fauna of the population and the ideal sample size depend on the confidence level and the dimension of the population. The sample sizes of 150, 60, and 30 fishes are frequently used, corresponding the respectively to 10, 5, and 2% of the minimum prevalence with a confidence interval of 95%. The fish that presented the N equals 30 corresponded to a minimum prevalence of 2%. Regarding ornamental fish, the monogenians, the D. extensus, and the D. ancoratus have been reported in the goldfish, the C. auratus, the G. turnbulli, in the P. the poesilia reticulata and also have reported a prevalence of up to 86% of monogenian different from that observed in the Cauratius auratus from the fish farm Camburi. So the high monogenian prevalence can also be explained by other factors such as environmental factors, seasonality, fish behavior, and also the handling management in the farm fish. Nevertheless, Stress caused by variation in the aquatic parameters are the main causes of parasitic infection. Beside the host susceptibility and the social hierarchy associated with the with this fish species. So the higher prevalence and the main intensities of the parasitisms by the monogenia occurred in the fishes from farm araquari where the concentrations of ammonia in the water were higher than in the other farms. This is this is probably due to the use of the feed with a higher amount of crude protein. So in the table one, which can result in the increased ex excretion of nitrogenous compounds in the water. The high availability of certain nutrients in the water can promote the proliferation of the monogenia parasite. Regarding this result, we can assume that the monogenian species found in the high amount in this farm have a stronger preference for the angel fish than the platy fish. So this may also due to the higher sensitivity of the angel fish regarding the environmental parameters. The Botryocephalus acilugnati yamaguti in 1934 are the cystids that affect mainly the cyprinid fishes or the family of cyprinidae but can also be found in parasitizing fishes from the families the poisilidae and the cyclidae and also the centrarchidae registered from the B. acilugnati for the first time in the intestine of Sim Simpisodon discussed. So from the Asia at the main intensity of 30 worms per fish and 80% of the mortality. In Caracius auratus in the Cyprinus carpio, the B. acilugnati was observed at low prevalence 7% and 13% respectively. The poisilid ornamental fishes imported into Australia were parasitized by the B. acilugnati at the prevalence of 10% to 36%. So in this study, this cestode was reported in two vari varieties of X. maculatus from fish farm Araquari and the and in the beta splendens from the fish farm 
big guaco with a higher prevalence than the those examined by the fish farm araquari and the big guaco is a facility where the fish have direct access to sediment and also the al allowing the inge ingestion of the benthic copepods and that may serve as the intermediate host of the B. achelognati. So this may explain the higher prevalence and the intensity of the parasitism by this cestod in the P. scalare from the fish farm Camboriú. In contrast, the goldfishes, the Scaracius auratus from this same farm were not parasitized by the B. achelognati which may be due to the differences in feeding habits between these fish species. The importance of this para parasitosis must be emphasized at the presence of the worm in the intestine and may impair the digestive function and inhibit the fish growth causing by economic losses. So the nematodes were present in 100% of P. scalare examined from the fish farm Araquari. They are common parasites found in fish in both larval and adult stages. So in ornamental fish, they may cause little damage to the host. However, observe no lesions associated with the nematode parasitisms in the intestine of the G. ternet Z possibly due to the low degree of infection and mode of attachment of the nematodes of the genus Rhabdocona. So in, the, in Brazil, the Kamala, Kamalanus coti, possibly the introduced with the importation of the ornamental fishes from Asia, has been reported parasitizing in the poicilids and this is the second reference to the parasite in brazil and the first report of the pathological findings related to the nematode species and have reported of the camalinid nematodes in the low prevalence prevalence in the commercialized ex maculatus and the poicilia spenops from the southern brazil in Paracherodon Axel Rodi by Scholz 1956 from an exporter situated in the region of Manaus, state of Amazonas from the northern Brazil, a 23.6% prevalence of the Procamalanus sp was recorded. Regarding the present study, the Capa Capillaria sp was mostly found in the P. scalare, which is the angelfish. The nematodes from the, this uh, genus can spread from one fish to another by ingestion of inf infective eggs. Furthermore, a recent study showed that the P. scalare may also serve as the inter intermediate host for these nematodes which may explain the higher prevalence and intensity of the parasitism compared with ex maculatus from the same farm. And according to Pulin, the parasite richness is an important parameter used in population ecology studies. So in these studies, the P. scalare was the most parasitized fish species, presenting the highest richness when, when compared with another species. In fact, this can be explained by the fact that this species is sensitive to changes in environmental quality, especially in temperature, which can directly influence in the fish physiology, physiology and predisposing to it to parasitic infection. So in this study, the cestodes the nematodes and the monogenians were found in this species. The monogenians were found in all analyzed fish farms. However, the fishes from fish farm in Camboriú presented higher 
diversity compared with other fish farms. So the highest prevalence was 100% caused by the nematodes and the monogenia in the P. scalare. So this assessment provides useful data for implementation of adequate prophylactic measures to prevent losses caused by the parasitism in ornamental fish farming. The knowledge of parasitic fauna allows the adoption of management practices appropriate to the particularities of the each species regarding, the, regarding their susceptibility to certain groups of parasites. In general, it is extremely important to establish a routine of assessment and control the environmental quality in fish farming. Respecting the requirements of cultivated uh, fishes in order to produce better physiological condition in fish and avoid an excessive pro proliferation of parasitic populations. These ornamental fishes or uh, species are widely traded and they require specific care in culture because it is essential to produce healthy fish with competitive features for the market. And that's all and thank you for listening and God bless.